When the crime scene tape comes down and detectives pack up and leave, many families are left to clean up the signs of violent crime that remain in their homes. The shock, the trauma, so fresh, they often don't know where to turn. Well, there's a company in Houston specializing in this important work, helping families and communities like Santa Fe and Sutherland Springs return to normal as possible. Channel 2's Andy Sirota explains what they do and how they connect with people in need. I still remember it like it was yesterday. I woke up and I turned the news on and it was literally on every news station. Breaking news, this is coming from Santa Fe. We have just confirmed from Santa Fe police they are in fact responding to an active shooter on the campus. The shooting stunned our community. I was scared for my life. Nobody should go through this. Nobody should be able to feel that in school. David Morales experienced the aftermath from an up-close and personal perspective. Crime scene tape was still up. It was kind of eerie, kind of emotional, you know, knowing what exactly we were about to walk into. I can still see it plain as day, every, every aspect of, of, of those rooms, hallways, yeah, everything that, that, that we were able to take care of, I, I, I can still see it. David is the owner of Biotech's crime and trauma scene cleaning. After law enforcement clear a scene, he and his team get to work cleaning up. After a traumatic death, an unattended death, we come in, assess the situation, and help the family members, the community members, take care of, of, all, of all the biohazard uh, necessities. In other words, the mess left after a death. Whether it's removal of furniture, beds, sheetrock, whatever the case may be. He starts his day off like most others, checking social media and watches the news. But David isn't just staying informed, he's looking to offer his services to those in need. There's a handful of cases that we've done where I've called, whether it's apartment complex, a property, whatever the case may be, and they need assistance. Authorities say a man dressed in black wearing a ballistic vest and carrying an assault-type rifle started shooting. He also worked with a team in San Antonio after the Sutherland Springs church shooting. There's a lot of damage, a lot of wreckage. You know, people ran, obviously, for their lives. You never think that anything like that would ever be possible at church. But it's not just about chasing sensational headlines. David says it's simply about offering help to a family who doesn't know where to begin and it's personal. My family and I, we experienced a tragedy on our own. Um, I have a cousin that committed suicide one day and we didn't know where to turn. No family member should have to clean up after their loved one. So many people have told us, I'm so glad you called because I didn't know where to turn. David says to the surprise of many, the work his company offers is often covered by homeowners, renters, and even automobile insurance. For more information on biotechs and the services offered, look for this story on the homepage at click2houston.com. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.